Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at again with another match reaction guys and first of all if you're new to this channel remember to subscribe smash that like button guys and remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring and of course always remember if you want to contribute to the channel you can always click on the link description if you want to sign up to bet us which is the leading us betting company in the united states scan that qr code and of course click on the link description if you don't want to scan the qr code direct link if you sign up with, with a deposit of a hundred dollars you get 125 percent sign up bonus guys so make sure you you scan the qr code but get that out the way because it is manchester city six manchester united three manchester united getting a humbling defeat on a sunday against the noisy neighbors and manchester is blue manchester is blue today after erling Haaland had his way with us bent us over manchester united handing a gazillion amount of loop saying you know what do me nicely as much as you want yes if we did not get put in a spliff big up to my boy expression yes we got put in a r.i.p t-shirt bruv because we are resting in peace right now on a sunday yes it's the perfect day to die if you want to die you know because it's, it's a it's a sabbath day and god shows mercy and you will probably get an acceptance in heaven's gate because you've died on a sunday yes on a blessing day but whoo what a hard one to watch for us manchester united fan yes it is a tough ask to see, to ask manchester united to beat man city at the etr stadium the fact that we have lost a couple of games against there we don't win and in the last couple of affairs against manchester city the noisy neighbors we've been getting our ass whooped and mullered so woo, it was a big ask manchester united overall it's city watches all over us in the first half, they destroyed us. In the second half, they were even much more better. Manchester United couldn't get out the traps, couldn't get beyond the City's box. Stuck in the, in our own half, Manchester City with pressing was phenomenal. Certain players performed well. Erling Haaland was a beast. Phil Foden was a beast as well. Grealish had an exceptional game, unfortunately for Manchester United. And Kevin De Bruyne doing what he has to do and what he's always been doing assisting and being the assist king for manchester united oh, oh, oh. it hurts us manchester united fans to see us getting humiliated this badly what it is what it is guys especially with the first goal coming in phil fold and making it one goal with a good god damn it well just god damn it a good finish as well City applying the pressure so damn early on the right hand side of Manchester United defense. Diego Dalo got eaten up today. Anthony's side as well got eaten up today, including Varane as well at times eaten up. Manchester City made made sure that most of their damage in the first half came from the right hand side defense of Manchester United. Dalo getting it. Oh, yes, with, with Phil Ford and making it one goes to nil. Playing that pressure, finishing off really well for Man City. And then 2 0 Erling Haaland with a header. Malasha tried cleaning the ball off the line, but Haaland, as strong as he is in the air, just capitalizing and making it two goals to nil. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, yeah, it became 3 0. Haaland with a finish with his left foot. Kevin De Bruyne finding his feet, and it was done. 4-0 by the time half time and my heart was hurting i was crying we was in tears we was all over the place us manchester united fans and to see that to see these men just batter us for that making it four goals to nil with a Haaland assist squaring it to field forward and again coming from the right hand side of manchester united defense Haaland. i mean diego dalo getting eaten up straight away half time four nil we was asking for a miracle. We was asking God to just spare us, you know, at all. Like, let's spare us the misery because we can't continue like this. It's just going to get worse and worse. And it did get worse in the second half. But first of all, with a consolation from Anthony, with a long range strike, scoring his second goal of his Manchester United career. And then Haaland with completing that hat trick again. Kevin De Bruyne assist. Haaland, a problem. Ah. 
getting his first hat trick and he's becoming Manchester Manchester City's first player to get a hat trick in about fifty odd years. And not just that, them getting again another one completing their hat trick. Phil Foden with a hat trick from Haaland assist. Haaland man in the match performance, man in the match display with him him Foden equally getting that. Then Marshall coming on. Making a bit of a difference with another header with Fred shot shooting and Anderson saving with that deflection going on to Marshall to header it in. Manchester United getting a penalty to make it 6 3. But at the end of the day, the game finished 6 goals to 3. We got mullered, we got hampered, we got raped. We got it. We got the rest in peace t shirt. And in, again, I say it again, Manchester United Holic fans, it's a big ass. And it was. It was embarrassing. We just have to look on to the move on straight away into the next game because we can't just dwell about it. It's going to be hard for us to go into work, guys, and, you know, function properly, you know. Go to school and function properly because we're going to get trolled the whole entire week. We lost the derby. We lost the Manchester derby. And these players, will, of course, will be down. And it's been embarrassing. <sighs> What can I say, guys? Player-wise, Rashford coming back from his injury. Maybe it was too soon. You know, only eight touches in, in, in the first half. Struggled at times, majority of all the time. Bruno Fernandes, again, another shitty performance in a big game. Cannot perform in the big game. Jaden Sancho tried. The one person that really tried was Malasio as a left-back because the whole defence was poor. Martinez tried a bit as well. But, hey... It is what it is. Um, with the rest, Anthony, despite his goal, he was poor. Manchester United players in general were poor. Ten Hag was a bit naive to not go defensive and make some changes as well for the manager. Man of the match today, guys, got to be you guys for watching that and enduring that, especially me for doing the live watch along. It was hard. It was hard. Really, it was. Donkey of the match today, the Manchester United players in general, including the manager. Yep. It is what it is, guys. Guys, let me know what your thoughts on today's game, especially with that humbling. Yes, who you think your man of the match was and also your donkey of the match. Let me know in general. Make sure you smash that like button as well. And make sure you tune in tomorrow for the catch-up. The boys will get together and we're going to digest that match. It ain't going to be easy as well. Big up to you guys. Until next time. Peace.